Hello, everybody, and welcome to Connected with Jennifer Hart. I'm Jennifer Hart, in case you did not gather. <laughs> I just like to be clear in my communication. I'm so happy and excited that you're here. And I, if you don't know who I am, hello, welcome. Thank you for checking me out and my show. I have or the show, I don't know what to call it. I have amazing, cool people on here. And my mission in the world is to be a connector, an intuitive connector and a soul guide. So basically I help people, help is not the right word. I connect and inspire and empower people that are on a journey of self-discovery exploration and want to be the best and highest version of themselves through the tools of personal development and also spirituality, connecting with a higher power source, whatever you call it. And I connect them with the people, the information, the tools, resources, events, retreats, workshops, whatever you need to be supported along your way, including the guides. I call them guides, like the coaches, the therapists, the healers, the amazing people who can help support us in our healing journey and our journey of self-discovery. So thank you for being here today. I always trust that the universe sends these videos to the right person at the right time. If you're here, there's a message for you. Maybe you want to connect with my guest today and use some of their services. I don't know. Um, maybe you're here because you should join my membership that is coming out. And either it's going to be a surprise because this is pre-recorded, just so you know, in case you are typing questions or something, we will get to you, but we will not be addressing them live like I used to. But um, so the membership, my membership, we'll talk about it more, but there will be a link if you're interested. Uh, I don't know. It'll either be a wait list or a link to sign up. It's going to be a surprise. Keeping it interesting. All right. I want to bring on Jen Rambala. Well, she has her name as Jennifer Rambala, but she is definitely one of my go-to healers and dear friends and guides. She's in the Connected Soul Network membership. And she is a human design expert. She's also extremely intuitive. She has just beautiful and amazing energy. And we know each other from, that's so funny because I did another video today and our connection was through Melissa, one of my other go-to guides and healers. And Melissa introduced us because she got a notification that you were doing a human design class. And it was like, this is like the synchronistic things that happen. So Melissa texts me and is like, hey, if you're free, jump on this masterclass for human design. And we we were into human design and I hadn't yet met you. And I was like, oh, I'm free. Like what? That was crazy. And I'm usually not like super spontaneous like that. And I came on and I loved your energy immediately. And your class, like I loved that it was only a half an hour and it was like, boom, boom, boom. Like I'm all about that. And so in the information I got was great. And then I became like, we had a reading and now, and then we met up at doTERRA's convention last year, 2021. That was so fun. We shared a room and really got to know each other in person and just like a soul connection, soul bond, and just like immediate sisterhood. So yay, I love you. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> so tell me, okay. So I always like to say how I know people tell me about you. Cause I don't have your bio. Um, totally we're winging it. So what about you? What do you do and why do you do it? Okay. So I am burnt out network marketer turned intuitive human design business and empowerment coach. I still run both businesses. I love network marketing and I needed to have those experiences to truly understand how to run business my way. And that is a big part of my journey and mission is to have people understand that they can have play and fun and ease and flow while also getting results and building a business that they desire. Whether it's entrepreneurship, whether it is network marketing, you are the authority in your business. And that is something that I so stand for in terms of leading yourself and not following how you should do things. And so that is the energy of today of just entrepreneurship, stepping in, being your own authority. And yeah, I'm an initiator. I'm an activator in terms of human design. I'm a six, three manifester for those of you who know that. And it is my jam. It's like, I could see somebody's chart and see all of the pieces. So yes. This, you know, I think healing work is so important within business. It's not just about the results. The results are a byproduct of who, who we're being and how we're feeling in our business, right? Like we could be creating all of this money, but if, if the energy isn't there and you're really not fulfilled, it's time to, it's time to look in the mirror and really go deep. 
Yes, I love it. So when I got my human design reading done, it really made a lot of sense to me because I'm a generator, a uh, 3-5, I think, a 3-5 generator. And so <clears throat> one of the things I think about the line three, correct me if I'm wrong, is that I learned through experiment. So it's like I have to do things and try them, which is so perfect with being a connector because that's what I do and how I got into what I'm doing. Um, and we're going to talk about this later. I also have the sales channel activated and I never knew that I was an entrepreneur, but I've always been a natural born entrepreneur and great at sales. But it's because when I try something and I love it or it works, I'm like, let me tell everybody I know people need to know about this, like, which is why I'm creating the membership. I am an expert at knowing experts and amazing people and bringing us all together like those are my gifts and it's what came from my human design reading was like I have to be in joy and when I'm in joy then mm -hmm. like everything just comes and flows and it's easy and it's like that's not how the world taught us to do it's like work hard and then you will uh, get everything that you want and need but you have to work hard first but it's like no when you step into the flow and you do things the way that works for you not what everybody else says should work it's like this just epiphany and so it really helped me because my not self theme, which means that like when I know that I'm doing something that I should not be doing that is not aligned with my body personally my design it's frustration. And I look back at so many things and I'm like, ah, oh, no wonder why I was like rude and resentful and like showing up like a poopy pants because I was doing things that were not in alignment with me. And I, one of the reasons like this, another like thing that's coming through is uh, because I also learned how to make decisions and I would make a lot of decisions in emotional states. Like I'd be in a high and I'd be like, that sounds amazing. And then I'm uh like, I have decision regret. And then it's like resentful because it's not truly like I need to wait and sit on things and like honoring that decision-making style felt really good. Cause most people are like, well, you can't be a CEO in your business if you can't make decisions on the fly. And I'm like, okay, not true. Like I disagree. Like, yeah, sometimes you might have to, but like if something's pressing, then it's probably not a good fit for me because I don't want to have to make a decision and then regret it. Like I need to sleep on it. So those are some things that I learned about myself and my human design. And like um, yeah. So, okay, let's talk about, you were talking about earlier before we actually started recording that we were going to talk about, um, okay, here's where I want to start. You have a playground, um, <laughs> like, why am I like brain dead? I ate, that's what happened. I ate food. Um, <laughs> just in case everybody wanted to know, I ate before I came on. <laughs> The facts you need to know today. Okay, Jen has an upcoming program called The Playground. Let's talk about that first. Usually I wait till the end, but I feel like starting there is going to take us into our topics for people to learn to today. Whether they want to be in the program or not, there's still going to be great things for them to take away. So tell me about The Playground. Like, what is it and why was it created? So The Playground is an embodied business mastermind. And what I mean by that is... So there may, you actually may be somebody, if you're listening to this, who resonates with this pretty, pretty uh, strongly, because this used to be me. I was the person that was chasing all of the coaches, all of the programs, taking all of the courses, learning all of the things, and really outsourcing my power to somebody else. Feeling like I needed to hire the coach so that then I could get the results in my business. Um, and it wasn't until I really stopped and it started following my not self thing being like, why am I still angry? Like I keep hearing, if you don't invest in yourself, you're not going to have people investing in you, which to me is complete BS. It totally is because it's all about the intention of investing. Are you investing from a place of feeling like you need to be fixed and that this person has an answer for you? Because if so, you most likely are not going to be satisfied with the results. Right. Or maybe you take a little bit, but then there's still something missing and you chase the next thing because you're not really fulfilled and you're not you're not recognizing that you are already whole. You have nothing that needs to be fixed. But on a level of healing, we're always healing down layers and evolving and healing. And that is what's so beautiful and why we created Lydia and I. It's a collaborative um, container and it's 10 weeks. We had this idea, it was a couple months ago actually, and we wanted to stretch it because we both wanted to play in our businesses. And we said, you know, I, I was the one who said, I said, you know, I really don't feel like I can teach play with results because I haven't done it yet. 
I talk about it and I know that I've had launches that were super easy, super successful, but I was like, let's actually, let's, let's take the summer to play with our launch. What can this look like? And it was so beautiful. So through our journey, we've been saying, like doing things and a money mindset, the energetics, incorporating our human design, following our menstrual cycles all throughout our launch, literally together, like syncing it. And we realized that by being able to, oh, changing our prices, all of these, like literally everything, it has been an embodied business for us to go through this launch and to follow what our urges are, tapping into our authority with human design and really looking at it from an empowering place and not from a headspace. And so through that, right, like as soon as the doors were closing with the wait list, boom, we had people who paid in full, right? And it was so powerful. How do you hold the void in your launch? How do you stretch your capacity and hold it? And one of the things that we have found through our own experience inside of the playground, right, is that being able to hold it together is so much easier than doing it alone. And the support and the collaboration, whose energy do you want to be around? What is the, what is the vibe that you're feeling, right? Like think about when you have a bad day and you wake up and you just sometimes need to call a friend and then you, you snap out of the mode, right? That's what this is. It's a, it's a, the playground is a, is a space for you to be supported, to learn about different energetic techniques and different things so that you can really start running a business that's aligned with your body, listening to your body and getting out of your head and being able to build the relationship with yourself again and build that self-trust, right? So it's kind of like the foundation of what you need, right? When you think about, this, this is what I was telling you, Jen. So you have like your results are up here, the money, what you're making, all of the things. And then you may get to a point where it's either not enough, you can't get a little bit further, you feel stuck or it starts to dip down. And so naturally we start thinking, oh my God, I need something. I need a new course. I need a new program. Let me learn. Right. And then something pops. Oh, let me just take that course. And then I will be able to get to that. Let me scale to the next level. But really what we're looking at here is the foundation, your emotional intelligence, being able to regulate your nervous system to hold more, to get to that capacity, to right contract and, and to feel it, to expand and contract all of that, right? Feeling it, holding the void, right? Holding the void is all about like being able to move forward with a vision, even when the results aren't there. What do you do when somebody doesn't sign up for your program right away or after the wait list? How do you, how do you hold it? Are you able to, and being able to shift and pivot and and flow with your body and your business. So when we look at these two things, right, the foundation, this playground right here is the healing work. It's looking at different tools. It's diving into human design, understanding it in a way that you can apply it. So we're really focused on the integration. So, and in order for integration to happen, it comes with action. And so as you start building that foundation for yourself, look at what starts to happen, right? It's like your, your energy is flowing. You don't need this to happen with those results or the numbers, but in order for this to move, you need this foundation to be solid. You need to work on this area. And so that that's really what the playground is. Your embodied business mastermind being in the energetics and merging the strategy with the energy. And so what are you, so this word is like, I feel like hot topic <clears throat> word that's coming more into the realm of the online world. What is energetics? Like, what is that considered? And how does it so work? I, so I look at energy, everything is energy, even when we look at like money, but I personally feel for me, energy is like, it's so funny that you say this. So like, I think about like the Kundalini energy, which is like your life force energy, your own inner knowing, your intuition, like, can you hear it speaking to you, right? We have our ego and our mind kind of overriding a lot of our own bodies, intuitions and knowings. And that's why when we look at like your menstrual cycle or um, human design, right? It's all about the ebb and the flow, being able to move with your body and what your body is telling you. And I think that that too is why, like what you were saying, like sometimes we make decisions and then we're like, oh, I really didn't want to do that. And yeah. I really didn't want to do that is your body being like, uh-uh, and how many times do we not listen and we choose the yes or like the yes girl, right? Like, woo, okay. Hey, you want to come to, you know, whatever? Yeah, sure. And then you're like, wait a second, I didn't even look at my calendar. <laughs> like I literally am just like saying yes because I feel I need to, right? So it's like the deconditioning, dropping the shoulds, following your own inner authority and really understanding and coming from a place of the answers are truly within you. 
Yeah. Like, and learning how to listen to your body. So like, I just went through exactly what you said with my book. So I have been wanting to write this book and I felt, I thought it was ready, you know? So I like put it on pre-sale and then a whole year has passed and I never have wrote it yet. And now I truly feel that it's ready. And when I checked in and I looked in hindsight, I wasn't truly connected to my body, my highest self and source as a higher you know, self there. I didn't have it all connected and I was listening outside of myself, but I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. So like a yeah. program like this would have actually really helped me um, to make that decision and also um, I think it'll happen personally because it had to happen as a lesson to share in my book, you know, to be yes. able to talk about the connectedness of finding and embracing your authentic self, which to me is like your, that inner knowing that inner person, who are you at the core? Like, so it was, it was perfect, but I just had to share that. Cause <laughs> I mean, it was a big thing, like saying yes, when it truly, truly wasn't a yes, because I was not tapped fully in and that's what you're going to do at the playground because you mentioned the nervous system another hot topic right now that I hear and am seeing everywhere and it's getting louder and louder and louder and they're starting to really do research on it about how the nervous system actually is the cause of people not taking action so once I learned this and I started attending some uh, workshops on it and and then my, I got a coach that helped me with my nervous system. Now I truly feel that I can hold the space and move forward to launch my membership, you know, that's coming up. And so, yeah, it's like, whoa, like who knew? And so with, even if you don't have a business and you're watching this, this still is true in your life. Like if you've ever like got into a situation and you just feel constricted or like anxiety just starts beating, that's your nervous system. And so you need to regulate it, which is what kind of tech tools and techniques they're going to be playing with, playing in the playground, in the playground program. And I mean, so let me ask you this. If someone didn't, I know you're catering to people that have spiritual businesses in this program, but if someone was like, I need this in my life and I don't have a spiritual business, can they still attend? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, even I think it's more about like the vibe and what you want to be in. I mean, we will be talking about like energy, the energetic strategy. Like this is definitely not a program for somebody who's looking for like the formula to like launch your business to 10 K. Like that's not what this is. Yeah. You can have specific goals, but really it's about this space of understanding that like you, you really get to be the authority in your business. You can have fun. You can have play. You can figure it out. It's like, what would you, what would happen if your business became a playground for you to embrace failure? Yeah. And to really look at things and to go for it and, but then be held and, and be safe in that. That's, that's the nervous system regulation, right? Like a lot of us are so afraid of the fear of success, the fear of failure that we never move forward and time is ticking, right? Like it's just, it's the clock is moving. The, it, weeks go by, months go by, a whole year goes by, but there's a very big difference between listening to your body and taking a pause because it's not in alignment versus I'm afraid. And I don't have the capacity, so I'm choosing to like play small. And I think when you have that like moment of like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm playing small. Like I really want to do this. That for me was what was the game changer. It actually took my dad tragically passing for me to realize like last year, what am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? I have so much. My soul is calling me to do all of this stuff, to be a healer, to get out there, to help people with businesses, for them to understand. And I am so stuck in my own way. And I didn't realize it until literally having death right in front of me and being like, what am I doing? <laughs> And so, you know, sometimes maybe even just this conversation is like lighting people up as if you're listening to this and you're like, what am I waiting for? Whoa. Right. Like, I hope that it inspires you in some way to take that action, but it's true. It's like the time, the time just keeps going. Yeah. And I feel like I always like to say, if something's, if you're watching this and something's going through your mind right now, look at that, address it. What is it? Is there an action you can take? Is there something you can move forward with? Like just as a side note, because I always believe the universe is connecting us to the things we need to see, the people we need to connect with. And I mean, that's what my whole business premise is about is the connection and how we are all connected and things are happening synchronistically and there's always these signs and everything. So like, yeah, someone else might be like, gosh, I get this. Like my mom just passed away and I've always wanted to do this. And sometimes like 
tragic things like that is what propels us to say like, no F this, like, yeah. why am I playing small? And I was, I knew you at the time that like your dad passed away and then we went to the convention, which wasn't that long after. And I, you know, we talked about it and how it impacted you and your business and you have grown and changed so much since then. And yeah, it's just like, it's, unfolding in the, the most beautiful time and now you have created this amazing container with Lydia which I didn't even think we should have had her on with us so that people could meet her too but um maybe another time oh, that would and, been... yeah and it's like you guys are creating this awesome thing which I have watched your transformation journey so I know that what you have done that you are now going to share with others is super impactful and is also very effective um, so yeah, so helping people to show up and be their best selves. And I love it. It's like through fun and play, because that is really not instilled in mm. the society that we live in. No, hustle hard, culture. culture. Work hard. Yeah. Everything. Right. Has- it's like you have to work hard to get results and keep going and going. And like, we just override our bodies all of the time until we either burn out or yeah. something physical actually happens to our bodies where it's yeah. like, you need to, you, you're not going to listen okay, well then this is what like, boom. And then physical ailments start showing up. And one of the thing that's it's so powerful, Lydia, Lydia McLean is her name and she is, she's so powerful. So I had started a breath work journey with her. I think it was two years ago and it completely changed my life. So she's a breath work facilitator and trauma resolution guide. She is powerful. Like talk about somebody who really understands the core of the nervous system and trauma. She is phenomenal. And so like our energies have are just enmeshed so great. She's also a projector and projectors are beings who literally can see the bigger vision of like, like cut through the BS. Like she sees it, she's got it. It's just, it's so powerful. And um, through breath work, I have been able to really unlock a lot. So that too is a big piece of the playground. It's like the merging of all of it and then using your body, using breath work to really activate your system and to unlock a lot of stuff. So yeah, powerful. That. It is super powerful. And so if people want to get into the playground, um, they can join, it starts 10-10 which is today. So this is a special offer to the day it's going to air. <laughs> uh, Cause just like, wait, is that today? And I was like, no, yeah, the doors, yes. Doors close, doors close at midnight Eastern. At midnight Eastern time. That's 9 PM Pacific for all my Pacific people. Um, it's 297, eight payments of 297. Yep. Or if you want to pay in full, it's 2222. Two, 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 two. I'm on and now I, I think it. there's another payment option. I don't remember at the top of my head. We've been really talking about how if this is the energy you want to be in and to calibrate to that level, it's like get in the doors for 297. Yeah. So it's just so easy and so powerful. Or if you're more of like a, I want to just painful, I don't want to deal with payments, then that's great too. But we wanted this to be something that was accessible. It's yeah. really going to be so deep, so much. You have access to everything. It's going to be beautiful. It already is because we've been in our own playground. So like the energy, the energy is there and Ener- energy does not lie. I always say that, right, Jen? It's like energy doesn't lie. Yeah, it really doesn't. It's like when you see like people popping up in your world and certain things happening, it's like, who are you being, right? Well, I love that. That's why I like video because for me, I can read energy better when I can see someone's uh, demeanor on camera, their body language, I can hear them and I can, I, it, it does all the senses, right? And so I get a better idea of like energy and you really truly can. And I think it's become a topic that's more talked about now is like, you can feel and sense and see people's energy mm-hmm. and it's becoming more normal in society. And so what energy are you bringing to the table? Like, do people want to leave when you're around? If so, you should probably do a self-assessment and Hey, look, there's days that I'm that person. So, cause I'm a human and you know, if I'm not taking care of myself, I'm showing up and I'm kind of like poopy pants, like, ah, and like, no one wants to be in my energy. And there are days that I know this about myself. So I just stay hermited in my room in bed and I just nurture and rest and like get myself back to the thing. Cause I want to be a person that people are like, yeah, Jen hurts here. Like, oh my God, it's so fun. And yay. Like, you know, I want to, I want people to love my energy and to come in. And I would say that, um, 
it is very important. So if, and, and we can always improve it, right? I mean, there's so many ways. So, um, so if you are a spiritual entrepreneur and you feel like something's missing, you want to get connected with like the energetics and the strategy and your human design. And you don't have to know anything about human design. Jen's an expert. She can look at your oh, yeah. chart and tell you all about it. I have done a reading um, live with her in my interviews. I'll have to find it and connect it um, to your bio profile for the Connected Soul Network guide profile, um, which I'll link. And then people can watch that and kind of see what a reading looks like. So I know some people are like analytical and they want to know all the things before they say yes. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you are ready, I will put, do you have a link um, that I can have? That... I do. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to send it to you after? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm like, we're just, we're just going off the top of the head. No, like... this is great. I mean, the biggest thing it's like, you know, and this is on my landing page page. It's it, this is for the person. Maybe you dream of working for yourself. You have a huge heart, a big mission. Maybe you're not sure where to begin. Uh, maybe you already work for yourself, but something's missing. There's like a missing puzzle piece. You know, maybe you're overwhelmed. You feel the frustration or anger or bitterness. And there's just like this, ah, if only something could be different. Maybe you're even at a point where you're wanting to quit or you're burnt out. Um, maybe you're holding on to an outdated version of yourself and not stepping into the real you, right? That version of yourself where you're like, it's there. Why am I not moving forward? Um, you know, you have a vision, you struggle with analysis paralysis, you're caught up in your head a lot of the times not being able to take the action, but then it almost feels like the body mind disconnect where it's like, I want to move forward, but there still feels like there's something holding you back. That's the energy of it. This would be for you. Um, maybe you also know that traditional marketing, online sales tactics are not for you. Maybe you have, you're in the, in the point of sales where you're like, oh, like you cringe with sales and you want this to be something that like you have a mission, you want to do something, but you want this to be about selling in a way that feels really good for you and doing it in a way that's authentic so that you can get those results. You don't want to hustle. You don't want to grind your way to success. Like deep down, you really know that there is another way. I love that, that. It's really who this is for. And, and I want to say, because that's, that's what it is like we're here to tell you if you are like a yes to any of those like there is another way that's what this is your body your business your way I love that that's your little tagline your body your business your way you could even make a jingle um, <laughs> Emma I could sing it for you <laughs> but probably not uh, it's not my strong suit and I am fully aware of that but it is on my like bucket list I will say that I'm going to take singing lessons so I can at least sing a decent happy birthday you know and feel like confident about it <laughs> um, but anyway so the uh, the transit the astrological planetary alignments for the theme of the day so I'm stepping into themes with the membership the connected soul network membership is getting things started and I want to talk about that because that's also like people, if they want to start a new way or they want to get started, like this program is good for them. I am getting started. We talked about how I'm starting up the membership for the Connected Soul Network. And Jen has been along um, with me since day one when I first started doing interviews and then the events. And she is part of the Connected Soul Network as one of our guides. She is going to do, um, we don't have a date yet, but for members and maybe non-members if they want to pay to come, not sure yet, but members will get priority, like hot seat human design coaching. So it'll be super fun. So I want to mention that. Um, what else do you want to add to that about getting started? Anything else? Well, I think, you know, I think when you're, when you're getting started with something, it's going to, it's going to begin with awareness really getting honest with yourself. And I know for me, this is what changed my whole entire outlook of business. I walked across the stage of 40,000 people because I hit a rank in my doTERRA business, my network marketing business. And when I, when I really looked at that, everybody was so proud and the achievement and the success, right? And I sat down and I was like, I don't want to do this alone. Like I actually feel really empty why am I, why is everything external, what I've been leaning into and what has been defining me has literally been success, other people, the validation. And that's when I was like, holy crap, I, I don't, I don't want this. That's not what I want. And I realized that I was actually really lost. I was chasing a rank. I was chasing goals. 
I would hit the goal and I was, it wasn't enough. I was already making my next goal. <laughs> I knew I'd crush the first one and I was already on to number two, three, four, and five. Yeah. And it would, it was never enough was enough. I never knew when enough was enough. And then I just kept going. Everything was an external. Everything was outsourcing. I would, I would know the answers inside, but then I would go and do a business strategy session. And it would just make me actually even more like wild and just so much more confused. And it wasn't until I stopped and looked at that. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. Like I'm, I'm done with strategy sessions. I can, I, I have my own strategy. Like I got it. Like my body is my strategy. And I stopped and I started moving into doing things my way. There were a lot of people who actually fell out of my friend circle because of that. And things will happen when you choose to step in and you choose to start something. Don't be surprised if people in your space start to leave. But through that, other people are going to enter. And it's really, really powerful what happens when you choose yourself instead of leading with external validation and whatever, and all of the shoulds and how you're supposed to do it, right? Like your body knows. And that was the big thing for me is really leaning into, into the self-trust and looking and listening and guiding myself, but also choosing what space I wanted to be in, who else I was surrounding myself with and having tools to be able to do that. That's the thing is you can have tools, but do you know how to use them? right? Like, how do you actually apply it? There's a lot of people like looking at human design and all of this stuff. And they're reading huge books and looking at it from the perspective of like an Enneagram. Oh, it's so cool. Like, this is my profile. No, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to actually use it in, in a way that gives you this permission slip. It's like an activation of your, of your body and your being so that you can step into truly who you are. Like when you look at like a little newborn baby, right? This is, this is an opportunity for you to have a new clean slate. When you start fresh, it's like, let's shed away the stories. Let's look at the layers. Let's look at, let's look at the things. What is, what are you driven by? What's actually happening behind the scenes? And from that place, it's like, it's a game over. Like magic happens. Magic yeah. happens. Absolutely. I love what you said about like when you step into being the next best level version of yourself, like things will change and you really want to be connected to people on that same path, which you're creating that space in the playgrounds 10 weeks long and people will be in this small little community. That's why I'm creating the Connected Soul Network membership is because I want to be connected with other people who are on the same path as me. I can show up, I can be myself, I can talk about I'm passionate about personal development and spirituality. Not everybody is like some people are happy where they are in their life and that's perfect fine too, but that's not where I'm at. And so it's like being in that energy of other people is also a big piece of it, which why I am very passionate about being in programs, being in community, being, I like getting coaching. Sometimes I'm not always in a program, but I'm, I'm also surrounded by all the guides of the connected soul membership. So it's like, I have hand holding all the time or support um, available. So yeah, I love it. Is there anything else you want to add? We'll wrap up. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that we discussed previously? I don't think so. I feel like this is really like fire topic. So good. Getting started. Um, it's so beautiful. Like, I, I just really think that like, if people were open, if you're open to receiving, it's so important. Like you were just saying, Jen, about support. Like you get to be supported. You don't have to run your business by yourself. And that's what's so beautiful. Like with what you're creating, with your membership, different programs and offerings that are out there. Like I'm so done with the, here's my, you know, formula for you to get to this. Like, that's not what this is. Yeah. It is like your, your funnel is your body. Like you are the funnel. <laughs> you are the freaking funnel. You know, you are that, that, that's like the beautiful piece to it. You get to be that within your business. You get to flow, you get to have fun and get the results. Like that's the biggest piece, right? Yeah. Yeah. So awesome. It is awesome. And you're right. That's, that is one thing that why I've created for me, my memberships were 
dual dual things going on here is like that piece of the support like of all the guides coming together and even though now you have a business partner like with Lydia and you guys are collaborating together it's like in the connected soul membership for the guides giving that opportunity to have pseudo partners just people that you can get support from whether they show up to your event and do a back end for you or you have a call and you you know cry your eyes out or you need masterminding with ideas and stuff. Um, I mean, the possibilities are endless. And so I love that, like, all the communities are coming together and like the collaboration and the support. So it's like, you and I were both creating things at this time and like sharing them with people right now. And they are beautifully like aligned and we're collaborating and it's not a competition. It's not like, oh, they might, we're, we're we have different offers, you know what I mean? And yep. it's, so it's like coming together because when we can collaborate and come together, we are going to reach more people because, uh, you know, I'm not the perfect person for everybody. You might not be the perfect person for everybody, but what I'm good at is bringing on multiple people that people can find the perfect person that's for them. And so if we can make like everything like uh, synergistic, I guess would be the word I want to use. People can find the person that's for them. And we all have the same mission at the end of the day, which is to get people the help and support that they need to be inspired and to empower themselves to move forward in life and in business. I'm all right, that. done. It's like listening to the full body. Yes. Before yes. your mind can override it. Like if you're feeling the energy being able to be like, yes, yes. Hell yes. I love the hell yeses. So if you're interested, the playground um, is opening on, or sorry, it is already open, but it yep. is closing today, 10, 10 at midnight Eastern standard time. That's 9 PM Pacific standard time. You can get started with a down payment of 297. It's eight payments of 297 total. Or it's one pay in full payment of 2222. Honestly, I'm starting to learn that if I want to um, be a part of something, like just make the payment, like pay in full if you can, if you have the means to do so. That way you don't have to worry about it. And that like helps for your energetics to just show up and not be like worried every month. Like, oh, did I make my payment? Like, oh, my payment's coming out. Like, you know, there's just extra pieces that go with that side note. Um, yeah. It's 10 weeks long. The focus is spiritual entrepreneurs, but hey, if you saw this and you're like, I could use this in my life, they are open and welcome. Like you can apply these into your personal life, into a nine to five job, in my opinion, I think, but the oh, focus sure. will be on the spiritual entrepreneurs. Or um, network and network, well, spiritual entrepreneurs. Yeah. That falls under network marketers fall under that too. Yeah, I'd say so, but we'll just say it to make sure. Um, links will be posted. And if you want to join us in the Connected Soul Network membership, um, I will post those links as well and give you a little blurb about that. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that everybody has an amazing day. We will see you soon. Bye. Bye.